What is going on guys? Today we're looking at Future, the beautiful hero who is teamed up with Atletico Madrid. So if they manage to win two games of the next four domestic league, he gets an upgrade. And if they so happen to get 11 goals in the next four as well, he'll get another upgrade. Both of them can be done or just one of them. Doesn't matter. It's not a ranking system if they get 11 goals, but they somehow don't manage to win two games, then he would still get one of the upgrades no matter what. He is just a one upgrade from his normal UCL hero. He has got now an 88, an 89, and now a 90. And it looks pretty good. He is a five star freestyle, which I really hoped they were gonna upgrade because he's got obviously the four star freestyle. We then saw the five star freestyle. I thought this could have been the next step for him. But unfortunately, he still does have that freestyle weak foot. Now in terms of play style plus, we've got rapid and incisive pass. Very nice. Absolutely love it. I don't know why I've gone back off, but technical is what he had prior to this. I really wish they'd fix this straight away. But in terms of the upgrade, it's predominantly a plus one. There's nothing too crazy with him there. People are suggesting the dead eye on him, which would give him 92 shooting, 89 passing. I mean, I can see why. His pace is already pretty much maxed out. Dribbling's phenomenal. You're not going to get much out of that physicality. So I suppose passing and shooting is the only two things to go with. So it kind of makes sense to go with that. Plus having that incisive pass, just going to make it that bit more accurate. Obviously, the incisive pass plus is going to be great linked with the rapid. He has got technical, first touch, flair, trickster, tiki taka, and quick step as normal play styles. And he can play striker, left wing, or right wing. So a very good variant to have in this team. He is left footed, so whether you'd want him on the right hand side to obviously cut in or just potentially just go down the wing, it is entirely up to you. So let's jump into him. He's currently coming in extinct at 1.3. I can imagine that will go up very quickly. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7 Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable digital cards for you right now. All right then, let's see. Oh, that is a phenomenal ball. Can we go? We just love a good rapid. Oh, and oh, it's Frimpong as well. We may move him across because if that is team of the year Frimpong, well, to be honest, even Thunderstruck Frimpong, that's going to be a problem because that card is no joke whatsoever. Oh, can we go for a whipped ball in? Hull it! Cruyff! I mean, is he going to leave? Why would you bring your keeper out that much? Like, it makes no sense. We were nowhere near the goal. Cruyff... Send him on the run. There he is. Lovely. Lovely chip. <sighs> Bring me back Valer, please. And again, into him. Going to let it run. Yeah, I didn't say I love the rapid. Physicality is not going to be his uh, strongest point, is it? But we will always be able to find him. Good turn off the shoulder. Can we go? Wow. Does he keep that in? Fair enough. We're going to get it back, though. Maybe not. Try again. Oh, it's, it's Frimpong. Frimpong is a joke as a right back. We are. I think, I think half time. If he doesn't get no more luck, we are definitely moving him on to the other side. Who's even got the other side? Let's have a look. I don't even know who this side is. Oh, Lawrence. Yeah, okay. We've, we've a lot more easier. Go on. Go for the hit and hope. Over the keeper. Oh, imagine. Into his feet. Gonna be a left. Oh, is... Did he move his keeper then? I really don't understand this person. Now, let's see if this person's just a little bit more normal. We've got... Alex Scott going against him now. There's the... Oh, okay. He noticed that straight away. Good challenge. Travella. Left foot. Mm, no, it's not happening, is it? Go for the back... <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, future. I understand exactly what it's like to miss a ball like that. Get inside. Nice. And again inside. Oh, a little bit of a... Oh, wiggle. 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 
There, I was going to say, there is no way. Ooh. Ah. Left stick's nice. I, I must admit, I was a big fan of the UCL Hero version. Even just the normal. Get the touch. Left foot across goal. It's close. It's close. But he was always very decent across the board as a winger. Definitely now people are getting better. So it's... Oh, I was going to say, get the tackle. Nice. Back. Oh, referee. It's got to be a penalty, surely. But even then, p wingers now are starting to get more and more already well round in every attacking option. So they could almost play as a striker if they're tall enough. But in terms of future, the only thing that's left for him now, I would say, is going to be to have that four-star weak foot. Just having that ability to be able to even just hit it with his other foot. That's that's going to be immaculate, especially now he does have the rapid and incisive. He's running with him. Oh, blister past him. Hands down. Beautiful. Absolutely. I've never seen someone burst past Maldini that quick. And I think a big reason why we can't just have pacey wingers anymore, somebody with like 90 plus, because realistically, we have fullbacks that have got literally 99 on the base nearly of pace. So anything you do is is most definitely not going to wow anybody. You've got obviously like a Furlan Mendy in the three different forms that he has. You obviously have then uh, Roberto Carlos again. Is, oh, I was going to say, has he managed to go all the way through? You have Ashley Cole, let alone the team of the years. Teo and Frimpong are some of the most paciest wingers we've got. And that's just the tip of the iceberg with them. So you do need to get more creative than just rapid plus spamming down the wing. They will catch you. And most definitely, they will probably take you out easily. It's why I do like having this incisive pass. It just adds another layer to him that just wasn't really explored too much before because he had technical it, there was not really I'm, I'm not a big technical fan i think it's an okay chemistry play style but it's not necessarily my biggest go-to surely it was offside i think the hardest part with future though is more the price of what will it actually be Oh, imagine if he slots that. Because we, we don't know. He's extinct. He's obviously extinct at 1-3. If he comes in at 5 mil, I probably wouldn't say get him. If he comes in at 1.4, there's more of a chance of me saying maybe give him a try. That is a great... Why would you go that way? Like, How does he know I'm going to cut back that? Keep running, keep running, keep running. There. It's beautiful. Little right foot. And Huller gets the finish. It's where I was about to say, if we didn't get that, I wanted a four-star weak foot. But if we are looking at the overall for him then, 1.3, you've got 500 for the UCL hero, you've got 65 for the bulk standard. So the worst thing is, and this is the problem they've got with the progression, even though love the double play star plus, if there's a skill move upgrade technically over the base, which is fine, but we've got the UCL hero for that, is that there's just not enough progression. Granted, I can kind of cut some slack with the fact that this could be an upgraded card, but this is where they fall down as well, is if he doesn't get an upgrade, he's just an upgrade of an upgrade. It's not really anything. If he goes to 92, phenomenal. He gets a, a, what, a four upgrade from the base, a free upgrade from the 89. We're looking pretty, but that is going to be very hard. The win two should be doable. If, if Madrid have the, the, the chances, they're going to take them. 11 goals, very difficult. And I'm more expecting that than not. I don't expect them to be giving us a 93 company, a 92 Futra, a 94 Furlan Mendy everywhere. Like I just, I don't see that that happening. That's fine because it should be difficult. But then only giving him a 91 with a potential because they don't want to give him a 93 because he could get it. I personally think they should have put him as a 91 personally, a four-star weak foot. If they're going for the progression of these heroes, it has been, what, how many, how many times? So we've literally had Future Star, we've had Team of the Year, we've had Road to the Final, we've had Honorables, before that Versus, we've then had Wild Cards, I don't think they had any in Wild Cards, Team of the Group Stage, the Dynasties didn't have one, when did they have them last? When did the heroes last come out? Was it... Did we get some with the team of the group stage for UCL heroes? Because I'm pretty sure then... Yeah, it must have been. 
because it wouldn't have been with Road to the Knockout. Literally, we have had no hero upgrades whatsoever. We've had, where are they? Let's have a look. We've had the UCL men heroes and, and women, obviously, the base heroes. We've then had triple threat, which was right at the start of the game. And surely we've had more than that. Is that it? Fantasy heroes. Wow. And and this this is the point. We have had literally no heroes whatsoever for heroes there. Is there none others? I swear we've had more than that. Who else? Who's had one that I can think of that we've had? We've had the UCL. We've had, obviously, the triple threat. I feel like that's probably about it, actually, because then it's a couple of evolutions, which is fair enough, because he's UCL. He's UCL. He's UCL. Wow. And and that's my point, to be honest, yeah, because then Ledley King is going to be triple threat. This th There's no progression in them. And yet, we've cut Future with a UCL, Tevez with a UCL, Costa with one. Marquisio didn't, Company did, Kesler did, Lazarazu did. Why are we not giving Dina? I know there's probably going to be team two. Lazarazu doesn't need one. Dina Tale does. Donovan hasn't had any fin, I don't think. Donovan hasn't had any fin. It's, it just makes no sense. If they're going to do this, leave him in the UCL, leave Futra out of this. Go with a Dinatale, give him a double upgrade, a triple upgrade, then come back to future, give him that weak foot. It's a couple of months or a, a month down the line. We can then give him a 92. It doesn't have to be upgradable. That's going to be the problem with the progression. Bit off tangent with it, but in terms of future, as a card himself, taking out all the bias away, depending on what the price will be, depends on what his rating as a player you need to go get is going to come in as because if it like i say if he's five mil i don't think he's worth it i don't think he's going to be five mil I, I could see him being two mil i think that would be more respectable when you're looking at the likes of a Vinny at two mil I, I just can't see him being over that yes he is upgradable that's got to take some kind of point in it because Liao is definitely not worth five mil very very good card but he's not worth five mil a hundred percent like you can go go Ronaldinho for 4.4 and Mbappe for four mil it just isn't happening even Neymar so it is the upgradable power that's going to hold him there but I'd say if he's like two mil I'd I'd kind of be okay I think anywhere between one to one and a half would be more suited knowing that his UCL hero is still 500 that is a little bit more fair enough in terms of the upgrade, it is just a standard. So if you've seen the UCL hero one I did, then obviously you kind of get the, the gist of the card. He's quick. He's got a decent shot on him, especially if you do get the right chemistry style. Obviously, the dead eye is kind of be the favorite here because everything else is pretty much at, at, above board. Love the play style pluses. Rapid and decisive. Two different ones together. I think it works. The rapid's always good for the wing. And like I say, he's got that incisive to bring it inside rather than just going down the wing constantly. So let me know down below what you think. I think he's a, a decent winger. Definitely in the top category, but not necessarily... I'd, I'd say he's not top five. I think there's too many players above that. Maybe top 10, I'd say.